we're going to discuss now is actually the connection of the DMX power LED controller to the power can. Um, in your package that you're going to get, you're going to get four power can, a controller, four XLR cables, 10 foot, of course the power supply for the controller. At the back of your controller, as you can see, your power supply will get connected over here. I will be connected to the power, so I just connected it to your unit. And your XLR cable will come out from your 3 pin XLR, so your male plug on the cable will plug in here. And that will go into the female end on the first unit. Okay? And basically, your next cable will come from the female end of the first unit, and that's the male plug on your cable will go into the next male plug of your unit, and that's the female on your cable in. Now, as you could see what happened for me here, my red LED was on because it was already pre-connected to power, so that shows that your power is on, you have a red light, and when I have a DMX signal coming in, my blue light came on. Now, as I indicated in the earlier, in the earlier video, it's very, very important to make sure that the units, all the deep switches will be set to the off position before you plug the units in. Now, the setting that has to be set on this unit when they are set in this configuration has to be deep switch number one on and deep switch number 10 on. These two deep switches has to be set on, on all units, on all four units, prior to you connecting it into power. Pay attention that if any other these switches will be set or will not be set properly and you plug the unit in or you plug the cable and your data cable in, at that point the unit might go crazy and you will get crazy functions running through and you will not have control. So prior to you turning the power on the unit, turn this switch number 1 and 10 on each one of your units, plug your unit into power, connect your cable as I indicated here, you will be set. Now we'll go into the functions of the units.